Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Eva, and this is some more Civilization V of Brave New World playing Arabia on the uh, Not Another Earth Map mod. And first off, I would like to make a few announcements. Well, it's mostly just one announcement in general with a lot of added stuff. And that is, for the time being, this will probably be the last episode I release of this Let's Play campaign. Because the coming week is looking pretty good in the sense of content and that tomorrow on Monday the I don't even know what day it is right now that is actually sad um, and I usually can find it on my phone but it has lots of messages right now bloody hell okay, no new notifications I know this oh, okay there it is so tomorrow Monday the 17th there we go. Um, there will be something special coming along, a few episodes of that starting up, which will, for the time being, replace this. Then U4 will continue with Aragon and a few more days of the Bohemia Rhapsody campaign. And then, of course, Friday, as everyone probably knows, is the release day of Civilization VI. And I'm gonna play the frick out of that game over the weekend. Possibly even have a full campaign done by the end of it. I hope so. I hope I can find the time. Which I should be able to. But I will also be playing a lot of multiplayer with friends who want to play the game. And I was thinking about playing it multiplayer as well Friday evening. Uh, with friends, obviously. And was wondering if you guys were interested in watching a stream of that or not. So, leave a comment below. Also, I will be playing as America because they just... They've announced Teddy Roosevelt as the leader of America. And Teddy is amazing. He's like one of the quintessential uh, presidents that the United States has ever had. Even though everyone's like, yeah, George Washington, yeah, Abraham Lincoln... But Teddy Roosevelt, he was a badass. He was like almost a literal badass. Just how... Anyway. And um, before I so, uh, express my undying love for Ted Theodore Roosevelt, I'm just going to continue this. So expect an America and probably... Yeah, sure, let's work together. We'll probably be on the Emperor level difficulty. Um, having played Civ for so long, being able to beat Immortal, probably Deity as well, if I really min-max everything, which is what you kind of need for Deity. Um, but having played it for so long, I know I can probably step into Immortal, but I also want to enjoy my first game of Civilization VI. So the first campaign will be on Emperor. If it's called Emperor, we only know that like the normal level is called Prince, I think. At least that's what it is on this as well, anyway, so... Um, oh, right, here we are. South America. And this guy went to China. Which is mostly Siam right about now, but... Eh. And, oh yeah, I also discovered one loading in. Oh, you still have a missionary over here. Oops. Anyway, they did try to uh, convert Nongoma, so... I'm going to send my missionary somewhere in that direction to fix that problem. One turn until border growth. Well, might as well get ready. Also, we have got ourselves some frigates. You better just get into the water and you make your way to the Americas. Oh, man. That's, I believe, Civ 6 is on a new engine. It would be strange if it wasn't. But that artifacting at the, after a game load should be gone in the new game. At least I sincerely hope it's gone, because it can be quite annoying at times. I will gladly spend some of my money on that research agreement with you. If Russia gets some more money... Nope, they just spent 150 on something. I am going to miss this, though. The Dutch guy speaking Dutch and it being such an old-fashioned... Uh, accent that it's still hilarious to listen to. Yerevan, um, we are really good allies, but they do want to trade routes. 
Yeah, hey, you, oh, you don't have any money to give me. That's why you're giving me all your other things. Um, Antananarivo has declared war on Maria Teresa because they're at an awe with me. They're at war with... Hang on. I'm just going to give them money. I'm just going to take over Antananarivo. Yeah, let's just explore the Atlantic a little bit more. Uh, one more road and we've actually connected Varna, which is quite nice. We've just upgraded that 31 more turns for the next one, though. Um, I should just buy... Oh! Actually, quite nice that now they decide to grow to the sugar, now that I bought the neighboring tile. You actually are available to build me a mine here. You're there. See, now this... Let's just build a trading post, even though it's not going to be very strong. Kuala Lumpur! Oh, I think I found that one city of the um, Zulus that we couldn't find earlier. Babanango. Of course they place it in freaking Indonesia of all places. Seriously, Zulus how Oh, holy crap, they're actually expanding really hard over here. Holy crap. It's like Papua New Guinea. And this is Bali? Or Borneo. No, this is Borneo, I think, yeah. yeah the Zulus really are an annoyance. I'm not gonna miss them. Definitely not. Yeah, I did pre-order the game. Seriously? English coup? They... How? What? 95... We just paid... Oh my god. I just paid them off. And instantly got a coup on them. Espionage, everyone. That's where stupid stuff like that can happen. Yeah, let's look around here. Let's keep shooting that guy, because... He's a pain in the butt. Hmm. Oh, I'll just keep exploring a little bit over there. We can build a national epic, which means we do have a monument in every city. It gives a great work of writing. It gives... Uh, some culture, and most importantly, the growth of uh, great people, but... Do we have any ocean? We do have... I do... Well, we have at least one. I'm not hundred percent sure if the atolls count, but... Um... Mm. Let's just get a garden then, I suppose. I do still have a uh, engineer, so we could potentially boost up a wonder if we ever get another one researched yeah big ben is of course there but we would have need to have commerce which we don't research still feels a little bit slow we need 4064 industrial industrialization oh er also wants a trade route what is this all of a sudden Go there. You're actually done in Malakal. Mogadishu has a tile available that has fresh water, so farm is actually not bad. That is still a tile with um, floodplains. Okay, keep shooting whatever is next to you. We'll just keep killing it. I think I'm gonna send a scout into South America. Well, 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 more of Canada being revealed over here. Quebec, if I'm not... Yeah, this is Quebec, Newfoundland, sure Nova Scotia. Right? I think so. The uh, St. Lawrence River goes here. The mouth of the St. Lawrence. Tear desires copper, as well as investors, and we just got a unit from Valletta. That's quite nice of Valletta. Is 
Is that what? Oh my god, the Shoshone. Have they serious? They've seriously settled over there. I mean, this is Greenland. So that makes this not. Wow, that's like the strangest settlement ever. Somewhere in the new territories. Could use a Colosseum and a temple. The temple is really fast to build here as well. And you did connect, so Varna is now connected. They have riflemen. I have musketmen. Hmm. And I have a cargo ship. Um, if I can reach Earth from here, that would actually be perfect. Uh, we can. It's still 12 gold, so... Trade route, they'll love it. Stuff like that. Mombasa wants nothing right now. Oh god, they took Hipporigius again. It's just really annoying. <laughs> what they are doing to the... To them, to the... That tile needs to be improved. Um, Yerevan doesn't want to trade routes. Kiev, the Ragusa wanted a city connection. So that's what we're gonna work on. Oh, we got a free musket man. Just kill the horseman. <laughs> I'm going to buy a missionary. And send him into the Zululands. Which are now Zululands. I mean, the Zulus are Islamic, so... They've happily adopted our religion, so... Um, you have a lot of money, so why not just give me money instead? For my sugar. Seven gold per turn. Over 200 income. I like that. <laughs> But yeah, as I said, um, I'm going to end this Let's Play for now, which means that I might actually come look again at Civ 5 in the future, maybe as a comparison to Civ 6. I mean, what I've so far seen and heard of Civilization... Oh god, another one here. These are crazy people. If I go into the water, I at least don't get the attrition. Your missionaries always get attrition from being in places they shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Like other nations that you don't have open borders with. Um, Tobruk has completed the lighthouse. Why not a granary for some more growth? Wow, the artifact can keep something. And an amphitheater. Sounds fine. Why don't you just disembark now? I'll gladly do open borders with the Indians. Very well, that's Siam again. and the Zulu. Oh, the Zulu are back at us again. Right when I'm about to... Oh, this makes me... Oh, this makes... Allows me to take Gaddis from them. I take it for myself. A farm has been destroyed. A missionary has taken damage. He's probably going to regret this. Um, I could actually buy out Valletta, and we have a great profit as well. Really, Siam? Bloody hell. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in the Hudson's Bay. Yeah, they do have riflemen now, so they are a bit stronger. But... It shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm just gonna spread the religion anyway. Um, that's actually a pretty damn good victory for my caravel. I'll take it. And you start making your way. Holy crap! That's a random encampment somewhere in the middle of my area. Hey, guess what? I have over here a full-on army. Um, 
it has seven movement, one six movement, one, two, three, four, and shooting. So they can get there and shoot. Problem is this guy cannot really get in range yet. So I should just keep them off the coast for now, for this particular turn. Seriously, you spread your religion and it's still not enough. Bloody hell. I'll put you on the hill for now, and I should also send in my Admiral for some added buffs over there. You're gonna make your way south, you're gonna make your way south. Hello encampment. Yeah, with this area over here, I'm not that worried about them taking anything out. Uh, let's see, you could use a seat. Well, seat part is not super great, but... A bank is more money, but they also have some trade rights from here, so... Let's build a privateer. I should start building more military again, actually. So instead of you, I'm gonna go with... Oh! I lost a cargo ship somewhere. I'll just build a cannon. But we're also at war with Siam, but I'm not that worried about Siam, actually. Let them show up first before they do anything. Then again, if this is the last episode, there's not a lot that's going to go on here. Did they? Ah, yes, they did retake Hippo Regius again. Now I'm gonna take Gaddes from them. Almaty declared war on me. Of all people, it's Almaty. Yeah, sure, kill my musket man, that's useful. Almaty, isn't, aren't they like somewhere, where are they again? I always forget where Almaty is. Are they not like somewhere over here? There's Kazel. Not Hong Kong, Kathmandu, Kabul. Um, yeah, they are here. Oh, they're even further th south than Kaisel. Uh, you can do just keep doing your exploring thing. And yeah, now I can't do anything with him either anymore. Yeah, we nearly made landfall on North America as well. Seriously, Almaty. Uh, <laughs> Let's just take that guy out a little bit more. The best would actually be a citadel down there, by far. Uh, you? I'm going to upgrade to a cannon. Same with you. Hey, that's already half the, f half the city down. Let's send in some more you. Oh, hello Shoshone Pathfinder. Sure, destroy the elephant boat. Mm -hmm. 14. Baghdad has a really good culture, actually. Dubai, no more land tiles. Salala, no more land tiles. Gained. Yervan already has a city connection. That's right. I completely forgot about that. You just, you know what, just go sleep. Use everyone to shoot things. Oh, hello, that would be a Columban caravel. Not Colombian, but Columban. There is, of course, a difference. Um, you're gonna stay in the city. Get some more camel archers out there. Ankara, Baghdad, and Mecca are my best cities by far. Baghdad is also pretty big. Give me five and it's a deal. Good. 
and they decide to shoot my musket man. Oh wow! You're now pissed off at me. Oh Dido, why do you do this? It's, it's just the broke a promise thing, still. That has just never gone away at all. I hope that's not in Civ 6 because that's gonna piss me off so much. Like, literally. Yeah, I cannot effect effectively fire anything into the cities. What? Siam? Siam owns Ragusa, apparently. I can already take the city out, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to create a puppet. Mostly because I can. Mm. Let's shoot that guy and move back a tile. We're going to move there. Let's try and kill one. Yep, you can shoot. Oh, almost. Uh, you shoot that, actually. He's trying, but he's not getting very far now, is he? Okay, I think Tyr just cleared it out for me. And I did get a free city from the, um... Okay, cargo ship done. You were going to tier, but they don't need a trade route right now. Vatican City doesn't either. Carthage and Barcelona, those would be the places. Ah. Money-wise, tier is actually the best from Suez right now. Well, we are over 20 minutes, and I'm going to end this episode and for now the let's play right here i would like to thank you all for watching make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future and get ready for a lot of civilization 6 in the coming months it will definitely be played quite a bit so i'm really looking forward to it despite everything so yeah there you have it i'll uh, i'll see you guys later